Mr. Henderson. Mr. Shepard Henderson? Oh, you've been writing to me. And you've not been answering. Well, how do you do? Uh, I've been out of town for a couple of weeks. Just got in on the train about an hour ago. I know Christmas Eve is hardly the time to pay a call, but sitting in a bar just around the corner from here, going through my wallet, and I came across your address. Who gave you my address? Uh, some people in Mexico. I had written down there about a, a mask I'd seen, and they wrote back that you had bought it. It's kind of a long black mask with, with gold eyes, and I, uh, I was hoping you'd let me photograph it for an article I'm doing. It's coming in a trunk I sent by rail. Uh, you don't happen to know what that mask is, do you? No, what? Well, it's just one of the most potent witch masks I came across down there. They told me that, but I... But you didn't believe it. No, nobody does. There you You wouldn't feel like offering a poor author a glass of Christmas cheer, would you? Yes, of course. Scotch or bourbon? Uh, doesn't make a bit of difference. Uh, water or soda? Either one. As a matter of fact, straight, with a water chaser. Oh, I see. Gillian? No, thank you. Oh, Gillian, I didn't realize you'd... St You're still here? Uh, yes. Nikki, this is Mr. Redditch. Mr. Sidney Redditch? My brother. Well, what do you know? Pretty good, eh? <laughs> I'll say. Uh, thanks. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Okay, Mr. Redditch, are you writing anything more about witchcraft? Uh, just getting ready to. Well, that interests me very much. Oh? Uh, I just got my room in, in Brooklyn back. Brooklyn? It's where I write best. And boy, is this one going to knock them over? More witchcraft, eh? Where this time? Well, right here. Here? In New York. Witchcraft around us. What do you think of that for a title? Sounds provocative, but what does it mean exactly? Well, it means exactly what it says. Witchcraft around us. All around us. It is? Well, it sure is, boy. You probably thought that sort of thing was confined to, to the tropics and the jungle. Well, so did I. Until now. Oh? You won't believe this, but right here, all around you, that, 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 that's a whole community devoted to just that. That's a novel idea. Hell, it's not an idea. It's, it's true. How do you know? Uh, tell us. Well, I, I've met a couple of them. I've met them through my book. And, well, they, they let me in on a few things. Well, from there, I, I made it my business to find out. You'd be amazed. It, 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 uh, well, they've got their own regular hangouts. Cafes, bars, restaurants. You ever heard of a nightclub called the Zodiac? Uh, yes. Say, that's the place you were talking about. The droid. What droid? Uh, sure. She used to dance there. Who did that? He did. And I suppose it never occurred to you that she was one. No! Yeah. <laughs> and you ever take a look at the proprietor there? Oh, don't tell me he's a witch, too. Uh, when it's a man, they're called warlocks. Yeah. I'd like to have this for an illustration, too. Well, I, I dare say Gil wouldn't want it to you. Uh, go on, this is fascinating. <laughs> Maybe you don't take it seriously. Oh, but we do. Tell us more about them and their doings. Well, they're, they're the places that they hold their meetings. You probably thought witches had their meetings on some blasted heat, didn't you? I don't think I thought of their meeting at all. Where do they meet? 
Do you know? Well, sure I know. One of the main places is up in Harlem. It's an old abandoned vaudeville house. Well, another is down in the village. And sometimes they, 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 they have them on the suite of offices at the top of the, of the Woolworth building. Nicky, uh, is it? You won't believe this, but oh, the, the things that, that they do be behind your back that, that, that you'd never know about. Talk about your spy rings and organized mice. Well, they're, they're, they're nothing compared to it. What do they look like? The witches, I mean. Well, look like anyone else. Like, like you, or you, or you. You couldn't tell them, but I could. Oh, you mean you can recognize them? Like a shot. How? Yeah. Hard to say. It's, it's a something, a, a look, a, a, a feeling. Uh, if one were to walk in right now, I'd... Gee, Gil, I wonder if we know any. I wonder. Well, I, I bet you do. I bet I can tell you names. Oh, please do. Uh, I gotta, gotta be careful. I can't do that. that. That's why there are no names in my book. I've got protection up to a point. Protection. There's this woman, pretty high up in the movement. I say she's about the best there is, and well, I, I got her on my side. And who's that? Uh, this is the I better not say her name. She's pretty open about it. Kind of flossy. Some of them do, you know, they go around dressed up so people will recognize them. You may have seen this woman. She goes to opening nights wearing robes with cabalistic whatchamacallits all over it. Oh, well, Mrs. DePaz? Well, that's the one. Matter of fact, that I'm going up to her house later. Tonight? Yeah, yeah, uh, she's having a party up there. Tell you a few more things about them. The witches, uh, witches don't cry. They shed tears, I mean, and you know, they can't blush. Oh, really? And if you throw them in the water, they float. Anyone tried that lately? Almost all of them have pets. They're called familiars. You know, familiar spirits that have to carry out their master's wishes. Chef, I think it's time for us to go. Everybody's bored all of a sudden, huh? No, no. I'm sure there is a lot of it around. Like influenza. Oh, okay, okay. Make fun of it. I'm used to that. No, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, really. I am interested. In fact, I have heard your contract with Selton's is just about up. It is. Well, I wish you'd lunch with me and my partner someday. Uh, sure. Uh, glad to. And uh, to let me know when that mask shows up, well, uh, let me give you my address. Well, give it to me too, will you? Oh, sure. Nathan. You know where Auntie was going tonight. No, where? Oh, yes. I didn't think it's a good idea. What do you want me to do? Stop it, can you? Well, sure. Uh, here you are, Miss Holroyd. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Redlich, I'm sorry I have to turn you out like this. Well, we are going out. But I'll call you. Good. Good. Say, I'd really like to hear more about this book of yours. Uh, mind if I walk along with you? Uh, sure. Stop in for a drink someplace. Oh, it's fine. Well, goodbye then. I'll keep in touch. What? There's a place on Third Avenue I'd like to show you called the Cloven Hook. I think. <laughs> this has been the most extraordinary evening. He seemed to think that I was one of them. <laughs> and now we're going to have our first meal together. I'll get changed.
going to do with all those presents? Oh, have them sent around in the morning with apologies, I guess. Most of them, anyway. All of these presents and none for you. Give me one. Which? Doesn't matter. Just close your eyes and dip. Go on. Extraordinary. Oh, what is it? What is it? Open it. It's a locket. Rather a revolting locket. It has some significance or other. I was giving it to someone. Do you still want to give it to them? No. Oh, it's beautiful. You think so too? Yes, I do. It belonged to my mother. I don't know why anyone can't say my mother without sounding sentimental. But you can guess what's inside. You? Aged. I should have met you earlier. You think so? Yes, I do. Shall I put it on for you? If you're sure. I am. Merry Christmas, my darling. Merry Christmas to you. Shall we go? Sure. I will. 